Hello Weber gas grill owners. Today we're going to replace the cross ignition tube and the three stainless steel burners in the grill. Um, I've had problems with getting the second burner to ignite off of the first one once the first one's lit. So I have one video where uh, I try to clean everything out and I replace my um, grates and my flavorizer bars, clean everything out. Still did not resolve my problem. So. Uh, now we're actually going to resort to replacing the stainless steel burner tube set right here. This is model number 7508. And all you need for this is a Phillips head screwdriver and a couple 7 16 sockets. Um, and I'll show you why and I'll knock this thing out real quick. Pretty simple. I have a problem with uh, how Weber did their instructions on this. Um, they say you have to remove this accessory hanger on this end. You don't need to do that at all. Just take off the grates like this. Make sure your gas is off, obviously. It's the last thing you want to have to worry about. Pull out your flavorizers. There's my tube number three. My center tube, because I have a three burner. And my burner number one. This is what we're going to replace today. One, two, and three in this crossbar. They come in this kit, 7508. All that we have to do is pop off these knobs. You take a, this uh, bolt out here so this panel comes out. Then um, I'll show you what to do once we get in there so it makes sense. So step one was to remove those flavorizer bars and the burners. Step two is remove this bolt here on the end. This is a 760. Then use a Phillips head screwdriver to remove a screw here and here. Once that 716 bolt and these two screws with their washers are removed, the only thing that's holding this panel on are the knobs. And uh, those three knobs just pop straight off. I'll show you. out here. Great. So pop these knobs straight up off. This whole panel is removed freely. But now we really can see what we're working with here. So hopefully you can see there. Yep. Um, so this that has these knobs on it is also um, connected here. We need to remove um, uh, 7 16 bolts here and here, and then this whole thing will just pull away from the three burners, and then we the three tubes, then we can replace those. So I have a 7 16 ratchet and a nut to remove these two bolts. So I'll simply hold it here and then screw it down here. These um, were just hangers up here that were hooked in. Pretty self-explanatory, they popped out. So just get in here and remove the bolt and the nut and the washer. And hopefully not drop the nut and the washer into the uh, bottom part of your grill under here. It's happened to me several times. So I just put my hand under there and caught it. So this um, nut and split washer and bolt, these two come with the new set too. That's worth noting. You can use your existing or use the new. I'll use the new because uh, why not? The new is better. And uh, get this one out here. Helpful tip for you guys is do not take these quarter inch bolts off. Uh, okay, do not take these three quarter inch bolts off because then these knobs will release and the valves and it's just hard to keep together. We don't want to do that. Just leave these three on. 
just take these two bolts out, the knobs, the two screws, and the bolt here. Piece of cake. So now, with that removed, this pulls away. So my point was, if you take these out, these whole burners are gonna, I don't know if these are called burners, but these three pieces are gonna fall away and make it a pain in the butt to work with. So now look at this, we're released. We can pull this whole thing out. There are two screws. I keep looking at the camera because I can frame myself here. I've got a uh, screen. Keep these two screw heads in here. They're just for guides. You do not need to loosen these up. So the front tube and the back tube have holes in them that the cross ignition goes into. Bang and bang. And then this goes into a notch on this little ear here. So tubes one and three, you have to rotate these to get them out at the end which will be self-explanatory when you get there, just a little rotation there. So, out with the old. So tubes one and three are the same. Uh, tubes one and three will actually be stamped with the numbers 03-14, whereas the center tube in the middle is stamped with 11-13. So these are 314 and this is 1113 in the center. Difference being, the one in the center has this little nipple in here to help it um, go into the ear of the cross ignition bar. And also the center burner fires up. The, the third burner and the first burner fire inward um, to the cooking uh, section. So we're gonna go ahead and put one and three in, just like, this, just like I did, um, took them out, reverse. So throw in that one, throw in the first one, and we'll grab our new cross ignition burner. And this is that ear. This little, this little ear, hopefully you can see, goes down. So I'm putting the um, little ridges up, or excuse me, um, going into the box. This ear goes down. You should see that. Um, it should be pretty self-explanatory when you get in here. Because when you um, when you fit these little ears into the screw heads, there you go, um, this ear can spin around. You want that ear going straight down so that when the center one comes in, the little nipple on it fits into this little down section. Hopefully you can see that, but that's the reassembled section. Um, so the center one, the holes are going up. Numbers one and three are firing inward, and all the little holes on this cross ignition are also firing inward. Hopefully that makes sense. Now all we have to do is replace this. And just push into the ends of the burner tubes. And we're going to use either our existing nuts and bolts and split washers or the ones that came with the new set to uh, reattach this. Back in. So we'll put this up here. Okay, cool. So. we have to do is get my nuts and bolts and the head the head of the bolt goes in the inside of the cooking box then split split washer here and then a nut on the outside Tighten that up better with my 7 sixteenths. Grab the other bolt. Remember, split washer and nut go on the outside of the cooking box. Head of the bolt goes on the inside. Here. Here. 
tighten that down. Pretty simple. You only need to have that a couple seven sixteenths. Probably right in your view here. We'll crank that down. And line on this. Crank this one down. Great. Those aren't going anywhere. Looks like I pulled out a wire here for this igniter, but that just fits right back on here. No big deal. Cool. All right, so we have our hooks in place here. We never touch these quarter inches. We tighten these two bolts back up. We have the center tube fed into the little down ear that comes off the cross ignition bar. We never had to loosen these. They're just guides to get this in. And all we have to do now is put this top back on and we are good to go. This little ignition button doesn't have to do anything. It doesn't fall away. You just got to make sure you hold it up and put it back in. Good. Make sure that's all seated nicely. We're going to put our bolt back in here that hold, held that on. Actually, that might not even hold it on. You might not have to really, we don't have to remove that bolt. I apologize. That actually is for if you had to remove this uh, this back section here, which you don't need to do. So really, um, the only thing holding this top thing on are the three knobs and these two Phillips screws. 